Hello and welcome to yet another video on Over the Wire. We're now going to attack Natus 22, another web challenge here. And we are basically looking at a blank web page. So let's quickly check the source code here and we can see that there's no functionality, there's nothing to hack. I mean, this is where you can start to guess, right? Now we do have the view source code here that we could take a look at if we wanted to. However, in this video, I'm not going to take a look at the view source code. Instead, I'm going to basically show you the content discovery phase that we can now move into. Because most likely, there is functionality on this web page that can be abused. For example, is there a robots.txt? Is there a folder called slash admin? Is there anything? That's basically the question. And that question we ask ourselves in every single pen test, we ask ourselves, is there any more functionality present here? And if we click the view source code, we will actually be revealed what type of functionality we are seeing in the background. However, I wanted to quickly show you some of the techniques we can use to do content discovery. Now, one thing is we can use your tools automated content discovery capabilities. For example, in Burp Suit Professional here, I can go to engagement tools and I can go and say, discover content. I can configure my content discovery process using custom word lists, directory lists, all kinds of pre-mutations and all kinds of different stuff here. And I can let that work on the problem. It might find something, it might not find something. So this is one thing that we do. We do a lot of things when it comes to content discovery. In fact, it's going to be a completely separate video just talking about web content discovery processes and, and how to do it properly. In this case, though, I'm going to basically uh, jumpstart to the solution. So for my clients, the ones that I'm working for, what we're doing is for every website that they have, we actually create custom word lists. And a tool to create custom word lists is a tool called Cool. Cool, so C-E-W-L. This is a tool written by Digga Ninja. And so that's Robin Wood. Check him out if you wanna hire a fantastic pen tester. So he has this tool, Cool, which can be run with Ruby. So I'm gonna run it from my command line here. And I'm gonna tell Cool, basically see if it can run out of the box here. So missing URL argument, that's fine. I'm gonna give it the help file a help argument, sorry, and I'm gonna tell it to start crawling this URL here, except I need to pass it some authentication credentials or a proxy option. So I can, for example, do auth type digest, uh, sorry, uh, basic, and then we'll do auth user NAS22 and auth pass and auth pass is going to be, let's refresh this web page here. Uh, actually, let's just go here to proxy, it should be history, sort this one in reverse. And this is our credentials. So let's, this is the basic authentication here. Let's decode this base 64 string. And the password is going to be the half of this colon separated list. Now, basically, Cool will run against the target website and create us a word list of that basic. I believe this should work. And it creates us a, now a custom word list based on all the information you can find on the target website. It takes images and files and looks at metadata. It crawls through all of the site map. It can even go off site if you configure it to go off site and basically creating words for you. And some of the words we found here is for example, Mattis, Over the Wire, we have Style Sheet, WeChow, and a bunch of other things. Now I'm gonna redirect this output into my C colon temp natas22.txt and I'm gonna see if this word list can give me some hits on potential information, maybe even passwords that are using these words in this list. Now I mentioned this is not contrived. This is something that we do in every pen test. Actually, the words, the nomenclature, the lingo terminology, and so on, that each of my customers are using is very interesting to me as a penetration tester. So I wanna use those words in my pen testing ac activities. And I'm gonna basically now send this get request here, control I, send it to the intruder, 
and I'm going to define a little variable at the end here, a little variable. And this variable, I load in files coming from my temp directory. So temp directory here, and I got Natus 22. So notice, notice now I got these words here, and I can basically just hit start attack and see if any of these words exist on the system. Now, this is something that you could also do within the content discovery uh, window. As, I, as you saw here, this content discovery has now discovered a little folder called CGI bin, for example. Turns out that this folder is actually forbidden to view into, but my script here is recursive, so it would actually try to discover files within the CGI bin. But notice within the config here, I could create a custom directory list and I can embed and include the words that I've now siphoned from the target website to make my content discovery process here smarter. In our case though, we're just going to load it into the intruder and start fussing and we're going to sort on content length. We can see that we have a 200 OK request here when we're not using any parameters. Uh, if we see on the bottom, we see a bunch of 404s and that's fine. That's OK. We did not find any additional attack surface, but there might be other stuff to discover here. For example, what if there's any secret get parameters? For example, if I open up this website and I say slash and I say debug, debug equals on, does anything happen? Is there any type of activity, any type of change, any type of like anomaly that we could discover when given any type of parameters like debug, admin, uh, all kinds of different parameters. I want to try adding to get parameters too. And I can do this quite easily. I can right click here and I can say, and I can say, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Yes, get parameters. This is my parent minor plugin that will try to do this. However, because this, this process of the parent minor will take quite a bit of time and it's also using built-in word lists and so on, I'm instead just going to use my own word list. So I'm going to do here par uh, paragraph paragraph equals paragraph paragraph and I'm going to do a cluster bomb attack. In fact, let's just do a battering ram and we're going to define one payload now. So one payload goes into both of the parameters here and I'm just going to click start attack. And we have a bunch of 200. In fact, all of them are 200 except one request. When given a payload, Revilio equals Revilio, we get a 302 status. Hmm, that's a change. That's an anomaly. So why don't we take a look at what the application is giving us when we are given this input. So when we do it like this, uh, let's see, Revilio equals Revilio. In fact, we got to intercept this request. Let's do this. Intercept, intercept on. There is a redirect, so this turns into a redirect. Let's uh, intercept requests as well. Intercept what was intercepted. So forward, we get a trio to found. And what do we have down here? Mm -mm -mm. We have the credentials for the next level. Beautiful. So just like that, using content discovery algorithms, we were able to find more functionality within the application. I'm going to save this username and password here. I'm going to send it to the repeater. And let's take a look at the view source code and see what went on behind the scenes here. Take a look at this. Here's the content. And if the array key within the get array here, with, so within the get parameters, if it contains a string revealio, which is probably something from Harry Potter or something like that, it will show you the credentials for the next level. And this all takes place within a redirect. So this is important, guys. We have to always assume that an application has a ton more functionality than it actually shows us, and we need to fuss. We need to check. We need to guess. We need to do all kinds of tricks to see if we can reveal more functionality. And I promise you, I will create a separate video on this. There might, for example, say, for example, you're in an application, and the application allows you to say, for example, show user equals Chris. You can guess if there is a show user, there might be an add user, for example, there might be a delete user, there might be any other type of functionality, and we gotta find them, all right? 
So let's let me stop repeating myself here and let's check to see if the username and password actually is working. So we go to the repeater, we copy, oops. So we copy this password here. This is the one we want. Whoop. And just like that, we got another challenge. I can't wait to solve this one as well. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned. Look at my next episode of the Nanos Over the Wire Challenges. Hopefully you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. It's quite fun to make them. I love talking to you guys. I love listening to your feedback. So please comment on my videos, whatever you would like to see next potentially, and any type of feedback you might have, I would like to see. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.